Hello and welcome to my video today. We have a lot to talk about. We have some big announcements from Ocean Loop, and I'm gonna just get right into it. This email covers the upcoming products that are gonna be offered, and I'm gonna just go through the email. OV Loop announces software updates OS 2.5 and OS 2.6 plus PKC22 and Oloop mobile app updates. Dear Ocean Loop subscribers, we're excited to announce after months of testing and validation, the anticipated OS 2.5 release is available now. And OS 2.6 is expected to release with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in October of this year. Plus, the latest release of the Oloop mobile app is now available for Ocean Loop subscribers powered by OV Loop. This app is included with your subscription to the Ocean Loop service, which also qualifies you for over the air software updates up to 2.2.3, remote customer support via our ticket system and remote diagnostics. The Ocean Loop subscription also entitles members on a first come, first serve basis to optional paid software enhancements, including the available now OS 2.5 and upcoming OS 2.6, which are optional paid software enhancements downloaded OTA over the air. And I want to add that you need to be a subscriber to get these OS updates. Enrollment for OTA updates and vehicle and software enhancements will be first come first serve and OTA update batches ETA about seven to 10 business days after sign up is complete. All Ocean Loop subscribers are eligible for the latest software updates and optional paid updates plus customer service and remote support via ticketing system. Let's go over the Oloop app. The functionality today is locking and unlocking doors using your phone and drive without key fob or phone as a key. You can activate California mode, all windows down with one tap and open close the trunk. You can view real time battery status, driving range, cabin temperature and 12 volt battery. You can schedule cabin preconditioning, cool or heat your car in advance. Track your vehicle location, flashlights remotely to find your car easier at night. And you can also enable OTA diagnostics and support fixes. And now let's cover the OS 2.5 update. The cost is $199 plus tax, and it includes infotainment enhancements. We have a theme, dark and bright switching. Then we have torque vectoring, which really isn't an infotainment enhancement. It is a vehicle drivetrain enhancement between the front and rear motors. It helps to control the driving. Then we have range reset, which will reset the calculation of how the car does its range or how many miles left on the battery charge. So that's Probably a handy thing to do if you want to have it based on recent conditions. Then we also have persistent regen, which allows you to set the regen levels for the fun and hyper modes. Next, we have audio and visual fixes. We have ambient lighting sync, which will most likely get rid of the bugginess of the ambient lighting, which sometimes can randomly turn on. We have HVAC refinements, including your saved climate control settings. And this is also a fix for some of the bugginess with the HVAC. Sometimes you'll start the car up and it'll have the AC off when you previously had it on. So hopefully it'll be more consistent operation of the HVAC. Then we have connectivity and interface improvements. We have Wi-Fi tethering. 12 volt battery display, CID clock fixes. So a lot of times the clock may be off from where your time zone is and this will keep it more consistent, accurate time for your Fisker Ocean. And we also have improved Bluetooth and media. Please note that OS 2.5 is installed via OTA only after OS 2.2.3 has been installed. So if you are a new subscriber, you need to get that update. It's a baseline for all the future updates for the vehicle. OTA is performed on a first come first serve basis for Ocean Loop subscribers. 
That's been made known abundantly now. Let's scroll down. We have OS 2.6 update. That's going to be coming in October pretty soon. It's a one-time fee of $3.99 plus applicable tax. What's in the OS 2.6 besides Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Also want to mention that there's a hardware kit that attaches to the two USB connections in the car. There's going to be a USB connection in the center console and also the service USB that's on the side of the console on the passenger area. We have smartphone projection and voice AI. This includes CarPlay and Android Auto. We have phone mirroring. We have portrait and landscape integration. We have wireless and wired connection. We have voice AI using Fisker microphone, which is the car's built-in microphone. We have push to talk for voice AI, media integration with hard buttons, and finally, Amazon Alexa integration, something that's been hinted at since the car was announced. Let's scroll down further. OS 2.6 update will also deliver PKC 22 via OTA, which will include Hollywood mode, increased key fob battery life, faster key fob button responsiveness, improved BLE or Bluetooth low energy connection scheme and stability, user profiles, remote vehicle power on, and remote climate status visibility. Important thing to note, the PKC21, which is done by the Fisker Owners Association, uses a proprietary SDK that is only compatible with the OLP app. The Oloop app uses a secure SDK that is only compatible with PKC20 and PKC22. So if you are going to be getting the OS 2.6 update, you're going to be getting PKC22, which is not compatible with the OLP app. So I want to let you know and make that certain ahead of time. And then it gives some information of how to do the subscription. I'm going to be showing that in a little bit. Um, I've actually done a video on the Ocean Loop subscription, so um, I'll reference that uh, in a link at the end of the video. But I'm going to be covering all the options for ordering. So let's see, anything else in here? Yeah, I'm going to cover all this coming up right now. So we have the Ocean Loop website right here. If you're a New subscriber, you click the sign up and then you enter your information and then you can be choose to be billed monthly or billed yearly. It is $50 a month. That was the original plan when I signed up three months ago. However, they have a new yearly plan. And if you click on that, it is $4.99. So you actually save two months when you do the annual plan. So it works out to be somewhere around $42 a month instead of $50 a month. So if you're going to sign up for this subscription, I recommend doing the annual plan since you get more bang for your buck. Then you enter all that information, you go to checkout. Now I want to also show you information on how to do the OS updates. Here is my Ocean Loop login page. I have the plan section right here. So once you become a subscriber, you'll have this information and then you can update your plan if you need to. For example, if I change my plan, I'm currently on the monthly plan. I'm going to change it to yearly. And then I am going to also go back into plan here. And here's the important thing. Click on edit options. And this gives you some other things that you can add. For example, the OS update. So if you want to change it to a yearly plan, you can click on this here. Gives you the price. Here are the options. You can do the OS 2.5 update right here. If you just want to do OS 2.5, it's $199. And if you want to do OS 2.6, it requires 2.5. So you have to get 2.5 first. 
You could do that later on if you want. If you notice here, the price is $199 plus $399. Now, if you want to do both of these, I definitely recommend doing the bundle here where you save $100. So by clicking on that, you'll see a full year subscription plus the OS 2.5 and OS 2.6 updates. The total cost is $9.99. And if you notice, mine is listed as $9.91.55. That's taking into account that I already have a subscription that's going to be ending in a week. So the full price would be $9.99 if you're a new subscriber. And some people may be asking about discount code. I'm not aware of any discount code at this time. If there is, I'll be covering that in a future video. So then you can complete the plan change and get the change of the subscription to an annual rate as well as the two software updates. Oh, by the way, here's my receipts for the last three months that I've been paying as a subscriber. And there we go. Those are the Ocean Loop announcements by Ovi Loop. We have the new subscription plan annual rate that saves you money. We also have the OS 2.5 and 2.6 updates. OS 2.5 is available this week and OS 2.6 will be available in October. I'm going to be doing future videos showing the app updates as well as the OS 2.5 coming up soon. So stay tuned for those videos. I'll give lots of detail of the changes to the vehicle. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.